Okay, let's try to get through this one without laughing because my girl, Coach Cynthia Cooper Dyke, is out here so obsessed with the eggplant that she sparked a whole investigation, y'all. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Fumble. I'm Jackie Ray or Jackie Ray TV on Instagram and Twitter. You already know the deal. Do me a favor. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Now let's get into this one because let me be clear. Coach Cynthia Cooper Dyke's reaction to student athletes is not funny and it is shameful and everyone involved deserved better. But trust me when I tell you, this is more of a reflection on Miss Cynthia because she is obsessed with one thing. Athletes at Texas Southern University say they felt like they were going through hell while Miss Cynthia was over their program. According to The Athletic, her behavior was so bad that it prompted a full investigation and caused her to have a no contact order issued against her. Records of the investigation indicate that one allocation says that Miss Cynthia was advised that a player who she knew had mental health diagnosis indicated that she was depressed. And Miss Cynthia Cooper said, nah, she'll be all right. She needs some D, that's all. Later, she called that same player a sorry A virgin. Then she came behind another player while she was doing squats and said, oh, your hips are big. You got a fat booty and I can tell you likes to ride some D. There are a lot of allegations similar to that, including during her first stint at Texas Southern in 2012 to 2013, Coach Cooper got on her knees in front of a male assistant during practice and mimicked performing fellatio, if you will. And she told one player that her slow running during a drill was due to her getting D down all the time. <laughs> if there was ever a person obsessed with sex and the eggplant, it seems to be Miss Coach Cynthia, and I didn't even tell you the half of it. So let me know your thoughts on all this in the comments below. Once again, I'm Jackie Ray, and thanks for watching The Fumble.